Hi everybody, I'm Simon from Vizu, and in today's demonstration video, we're going to be showing you the very powerful and capable B-Flash tuning tool. We're going to focus on the bench and boot options in today's demo, and we're going to be focused on this EDC-17 ECUs for our bench, EDC-17-CP14, and a C10 ECU for our boot connection. We're going to take you through how easy the software is to use to find your connections, make those connections, and take the read. Now, why would you get a tool like this? Well, a tool like this offers you that additional option for reading and writing to vehicles. You can never have too many tuning tools, as they often say. If you've got a tool that doesn't support a certain gearbox, look at the B-Flash, has a wide range of gearboxes supported. If you need data logging capabilities and your tuning tool doesn't have data logging, speak to Vizu, get yourself a B-Flash, and you can data log through the OBD and look at the log analysis. To find out more on that, check out our video on remap101.co.uk for our demonstration on the B-Flash tool for OBD. We're going to jump into the software now and show you how you can find the ECU, how we can make those connections and do the reading and writing. It's important to note one of the things we won't be covering today is how to open the ECU. If you don't know how to open an ECU for boot connections, check out our videos on remap101.co.uk and we take you through a very simple and easy guide of how to open an ECU, the best practice and the best methods for that. Let's jump into the software, and we're going to go find our ECU. So the first thing we're going to do is click on our car icon, and we're going to need to select the ECU for the vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, this is quite an advanced piece of software compared to some other tuning tools that are on the market, so it does expect a certain amount of knowledge and understanding about the vehicle you're working on and the ECU fitted. In this case, we've got a Volkswagen that we're going to click on, and you can see we're just greeted with an ECU list. We explain this and cover this off in our OBD demonstration video as well. We're going to scroll down to our diesel and select this particular ECU, which is the ED17 CP14. We have our two options for bench and boot. In this case, it's bench that we need. Make sure that's selected, and we click the arrow to continue. Again, really simple, easy to use interface. We've got ID, read, and write on the right hand side of the screen, and we have our help. Icon. I'm going to click on the help icon because this is going to give us our instructions. And we're greeted now with the help instructions, how to connect to this ECU. We see we've got the loom plugs on the ECU, colour-coded cables, so we've got our CAN high and low, our powers, and our S1 and S2 cables. Those are used to using other tuning tools, may recognise these as things like GPT or GPT-1 and 2. We just simply need to follow the instructions using the equipment in the B-Flash box to make those connections. So this is going to be our USB, our power supply, and our multi-cable that has all of our cable connections on. So as we can see those, we're now going to jump to the ECU and start making those connections. So it's important when we're connecting to the ECU that we make sure that the loom connectors, the, the image of the ECU, matches perfectly the instructions on the screen. And it's simply a case then of just following the instructions. So the black earth cable, we find that for the ground, and we put it on the corresponding pin. We need our CAN high and our CAN low and make sure these are securely connected to the pins on the ECU. Once we've got all of our connections, close the instructions, and we come back to the ID read and writing screen. Now we'll take an ID, then we'll take a read of the ECU. The first thing it's going to ask us to do is to save the file, so we'll need to give it a location and a file name. Often registration or VIN number is the best thing to do for that, and then the read will carry on through. Now the reading's complete, it's time to tune the file. If you're a Visu dealer, remember send the file through to the technical team on the Visu dealer portal. And even if you're a master file writer, you can still use the Visu technical team to get your file created for you. Particular modification or something you're unsure of, send it through to the tech team. They're bound to have seen that request before and have a developed solution ready to update and adjust on your file for you. Remember, bespoke custom tuning is available. If you require a tune for towing or fuel economy or maximum performance, just let the technical team know what it is you require and they will make the file for your customer's requirements. Now we've got our modified file back from the Visu technical team. We're ready to write it to the ECU by simply clicking on the right button and selecting the mod file. There's an important warning that will come up on the screen that will give you a second chance to check that you have the correct file for the ECU you're writing to. Always take a moment to double check that's the correct file before you proceed. Once you agree that's the correct file and proceed, 
The writing procedure will begin on the screen. Do not touch the ECU or make any changes to the equipment until the writing is completed and says OK at the end. Once the writing has completed and you can see the confirmation message on the screen, you are then safe to disconnect the cables from the ECU, put the tool away, ready to use on the next vehicle you've got coming into your workshop or the next customer's vehicle you're going out to see. Disconnecting is as easy as connecting the cables. We just carefully disconnect them from the ECU. That's our ECU tuned, ready to be fitted back into the vehicle. And we can simply put our cables and B-Flash tuning tool back in its box, nice and safe, ready for the next vehicle. With that ECU completed for our bench programming, we're now going to move on to the boot programming. It's going to be very similar. We're going to need to make connections to our loom plugs, but we're also going to need to make a connection to the actual circuit board itself. Remember, if you need to follow any videos or instructions on how to open an ECU in a safe, recommended way, check out remap101.co.uk and we've got a nice instructional video on there of how to take the lid off in the best way that's safest for the ECU. We've also got a video on there of how to reseal it as well. So when you come to the end of this video and you've programmed the ECU, you'll need to reseal that lid for this particular example. And again, the video is on remap101.co.uk with a range of other additional tuning videos on there as well training you in file writing, even just reading and writing ECUs with different tuning tools. So now to make a boot connection on ECU, and we've got our EDC17 C10 ECU for this example. And we're going to go and open up the options for the vehicle menu. We're going to scroll down to Citroen. This ECU can be found in Citroen, Peugeots, etc. And we're going to come down on the list to EDC17 C10. So you've got option for OBD, bench and boot. We want boot for this particular example. You'll notice the ECU has changed in the left-hand corner, but the screen looks very, very similar to the bench. We just need to click on the help option to bring up the instructions. You'll notice with these instructions, we have similar guidance on connecting to the loom plug on the ECU, but we also have a picture of the ECU circuit board itself with the boot pin in particular highlighted there. So that's what we're going to need to connect to. And if we click on that image, we can see it a little bit clearer. That's the boot pin that we need to make the specific connection on the circuit board for. Let's close that. The recommendation is, again, follow the any instructions that are on the screen. But in order of connections, we're going to do our bench element of the connections first, as you can see here. And then we're going to do the boot connection after. It's just much easier that way. So now we're going to make those connections. Take our ECU and we turn it around, matching it with the instructions on the screen, and we just make the same pinout connections. Follow the colour-coded instructions on the screen for our cable colours, and you'll see it's relatively easy to connect to. Once we've got our bench connections, we then need to make the pin connection to the circuit board using the individual pin that comes in the kit and the little blue rest that comes in the kit as well to hold it in place. There's two options for making that connection to the actual tool itself. We've got a, an extension lead that goes into our probe, and we can either use the boot crocodile clip to connect it, or alternatively, you can actually use this connection directly into the harness that comes from the B-Flash. We can separate this plug and plug directly in. Now our connections are made, back to the software. We're going to close our browser window, and we're going to repeat the steps that we did for Bench. We're going to ID the ECU, and then we're going to read the ECU. Remember, when we press read, it's going to ask us to save the file I'm going to give it a name, typically registration or VIN number, and then it will continue with the read until it's completed. Now the reading's complete, it's time to tune the file. If you're a Visu dealer, remember send the file through to the technical team on the Visu dealer portal. And even if you're a master file writer, you can still use the Visu technical team to get your file created for you. Particular modification or something you're unsure of, send it through to the tech team. They're bound to have seen that request before and have a developed solution ready to update and adjust on your file for you. Remember, bespoke custom tuning is available. If you require a tune for towing or fuel economy or maximum performance, just let the technical team know what it is you require 
and they will make the file for your customer's requirements. Now we've got our file back from the Visu technical team, we just need to write it onto the ECU by pressing the right button. You'll get a warning message again asking you to confirm that this is the correct file for the ECU. Just take a second, make sure you've definitely selected the correct file. Then we'll proceed and the writing will continue. Once the writing's completed, we'll see the OK and a message at the bottom of the screen confirming that the writing's completed. So simply remove the pin from the ECU. I'm going to remove the cables from the ECU loom. Remember, on this particular ECU type, you'll need to reseal the ECU. Check out remap101.co.uk for the videos on that, telling you the best practices, tools and equipment you'll need for that. Once completed, fit it back into the car and that's the job done. For more information on the B-Flash tool and how you can purchase from Vizu today, contact our team today and they'll happily explain the benefits and features of the tool. For more tool demonstrations and training videos and training courses on file writing, how-to guides, how to successfully open an ECU safely and all that additional information, please go to remap101.co.uk for a whole suite and range of tuning videos, training guides and courses to help improve your knowledge to build upon your understanding of tuning and to learn the capabilities of these tuning tools in more depth. Thanks for watching everybody.